Looking at the basket, and the basket getting used quite a bit in this one early on, particularly by Ottawa, Glandorf went off early in this one. Colin White, the freshman, knocking down a three and fired up about it. And you know, they found him open in the corner, and he knocked it down again. 6-0 OG in the early going. And you know, why not? Brennan Blevins this time. The bank is open at Ottawa Glandorf. OG rolling here in the first half. Carter Schimmler from downtown. OG four on five and three pointers. They had a 13 point lead numerous times in this one, but Shawnee comes back. Austin Miller, top of the key three. Then George Mangus, he gets the long ball going, cuts the lead down to one in the third quarter. And then early fourth quarter, Brady Wheeler, nice cross up, pull up, switch from 18. Shawnee's first lead in the game with six and a half left in the contest. And then Wheeler downtown, another three, gives Shawnee a six point lead. And that is what they would win by a huge come from behind win for Shawnee. Haven't said that much in this now 40 game win streak for the Indians. They win tonight 58 to 52. That game on over on WOSN in just under a half hour. Brady Wheeler, 18 points, four dimes. Mangus chipping in seven points. Aaron Matthews caught up with the victorious head coach, Mark Triplett, after this one. Not once, not twice, but three times was your ball club down 13 points tonight to a very good Ottawa Glendale ball club. Resiliency, thy name be Shawnee tonight, my man. Yeah, you know, we told the guys at halftime, we, we weren't defeated. We were just upset with the way that we played. And we challenged them at halftime and said, no matter what happens the next 16 minutes, we're going to find out a lot about our mental toughness coming on the road against this quality of a basketball team who just doesn't lose home games, especially in the league. And, and we're going to find out what we're made of. And um, we just challenged them. I thought as we got some defensive stops, we were able to get some offensive confidence and uh, just really proud of our kids. You, you talk about stepping up. Jaron Berkey, mammoth second half for you guys. Austin Miller made free throws for the first time all year. I mean, it's it's not it wasn't just George Mangus, it wasn't just Brady Wheeler who had a tremendous game for you guys tonight. You got you got effort. Even Toby Freiberger gave you effort on the defensive mm -hmm. end tonight. It was six, seven, and eight that really helped propel you guys yeah. tonight, not just one through five. You know, we, we preach every day to them in practice that it's it's the hard work that everybody puts in, even the guys that don't get the playing time that makes us who we are. And we say that we are not gonna be us without every single individual in that locker room. So um, I, I just couldn't be prouder of them. You know, Ricky hits a couple big banks shots which you know we're going to take every every break that we can get in this gym and Mills knocking down a big three got knocked to the free throw line and knocked down a couple there so thought he was big for us he had a tremendous week of practice and we kind of felt that he was going to have a, a good night for us tonight Toby's defensive effort in practice lately and, and you saw it again tonight has been just tremendous so um, Jaron you know he, he missed that three on the, on the wing and I said the next one he gets he's going to knock down and and really I thought maybe a ball reversal and run some more clock off and I kind of told him in the timeout that the next one you get hit it. And he shot it about three, four feet behind the line and buries it. So uh, just huge, huge contributions from so many guys. And then obviously Brady and George were Brady and George. Finley, tomorrow night, no rest for the weary, huh? No, they're, they're a tremendous basketball team, and, and we haven't really thought about them at all, obviously. But um, we know that Coach Rucky is going to have them ready to play and, and really, really talented team that can score and, and shoot the basketball well. And the Adams kid's one of the better players in the area. So uh, huge challenge for us. Um, we're going to enjoy this for about another 45 minutes and let the kids enjoy it till tomorrow night, and, and we'll get back to work. Mark, congratulations. Great win on the road for Thank your Thank you very club. much. Appreciate back it. Back to you guys in the studio.